there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to reading Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. Today we're continuing Book 5 on Justice, looking at Chapter 2. So let's get into it. Now, uh, if, uh, we talked about justice in two senses earlier. Justice in terms of the doing and the being of ju being the, the justice and the just person, right? Uh, as same thing as a j j injustice and the in the in, uh, uh, the unjust person, right? This is the uh, 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 his position was that he ends it on the idea that um, uh, uh, when we speak of justice or activity, the actions of doing things, right? This is not a virtue in a sense. This is the complete virtue. It's not a part of virtue. It's it's the whole of virtue. It, it is that oh, it is it is com a complete virtue in that sense. Uh, whereas the characteristic of a person who is just. Now this is spoken of as a uh, uh, as a characteristic, and this is spoken of uh, justice as a part of virtue. Uh, so this is this is that big thing. Now he's going to talk about. This he goes now. He, he wants to. This is where he's going to start here, chapter two. But we, at any rate, are investigating the justice that is a part of virtue, not the justice that is the whole of virtue. In other words, it's the completeness of virtue, uh, but justice as the part of virtue. For there is some, uh, for there is some such one as we assert. And similarly, also the injustice that is a part of vice. So therefore, this is he wants to look at the part justice that is a part of virtue. That, it, that it's not the whole. It is not the completeness of things. Therefore, we're different. And I think this is the difference between the uh, uh, the activity, actions, the action of doing it, the doing of it, the activity, versus the characteristic. Okay, um, uh, the, the trait. Um, and this is, I think, he talks about I, I, I talks about here. So let's go look, continue. And there is a sign, uh, and there is a sign that exists. So therefore, there's a sign. There's a sign. In other words, a sign that exists. For he who acts in accordance with the other kind of corruption commits injustice, but is not, uh, 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 but is not at all grasping for more. For example. Someone who throws down his shield through cowardice, who speaks viciously on account of his harshness, or who does not donate money uh, for another's aid on account of his dinginess. So therefore, that, that, this is not injustice in that sense. That he, he is not acting, he's not grasping for more. He's not grasping for what does, uh, for more. Rather, there is, there is a vice, there are vices, like he says, the vices of the coward, right? That throws down his shield to cowardice. The one who speaks harshly. This is the, uh, 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 you know, back on to, you know, the individual vices and virtues. You know, back in chapter four, this is the uh, uh, the, the, the is friendliness, right? The one who's harsh. Then there's the one who, the illiberal or the stingy, right? The stingy person. Yet, when a person grasps for more, he often does so not in connection with any of these sorts of things, and even less in connection with them all, but rather in relation to a certain wickedness, for we blame it, namely injustices. I, in other words, this, this thing is a grasping for more. You want more. You want more. And this is, this is injustice is injustice in the sense. Injustice is the grasping for what you don't deserve. What is more than you know? You want you want you want more. You want this idea of the grasping for what is, uh, uh, and this is a this is a certain wickedness because we blame it, and, and this is injustice. It uh, there is therefore some other injustice as part of the whole, right? And something unjust that is. Um, that is part of injustice as a whole. This uh, latter being what is contrary to the law. So, so therefore, this latter thing is being uh, 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 the, this part of just injustice that is contrary to the whole. But there is what there is. Uh, there is also there is this uh, part, this this part that is. 
there is therefore some other injustice as part of a whole and something unjust that is part of injustice as a whole. In other words, there's two things here. There is an injustice that is, uh, uh, there is therefore some injustice that is part of a whole. And something unjust that is part of injustice as part of a whole. So therefore, the, uh, this is this idea of this particular aspects of things. And this later one is what is contrary to law. Therefore, something unjust that is part of injustice as a whole. So something that is unjust that is part of unjust, the whole of injustice. Okay. This is a part of this injustice. But this is the particular thing that is done that's contrary to the law. Further, second paragraph. Further, if someone commits adultery for the sake of gain and profits and there, uh, in addition thereby, whereas another spends money and suffers a loss on account of his desire, the latter would be held to be lic licentious rather than grasping for more. The former uh, to be unjust, but not licentious. In other words, what is this? In other words, the first commits adultery for the sake of gain and profit. Uh, uh, so he's not doing it for licentiousness. He's committing adultery for benefit. This is unjust in that sense. This is unjust, but not licentious. Whereas the other one, he's, he, he, he spends money and suffers a loss on account of his desires. This is licentious, but not unjust. It is clear, therefore, that he is on account of the gain he receives. So, therefore, the injustice is tied to the gain. You're doing it some. You're doing it for some benefit or good. Okay, you want something you should not probably get, or should not have, or you do it in a way that's improper or un or ignoble remember doing things that are noble uh, noble or kalong or beautiful are correct and doing things that are ugly base ignoble right is it further concerning uh, next part um third part next paragraph Con further concerning all other acts of injustice Reference is always made to a specific corruption. So the, the other, for all other acts of injustice, for example, if a person commits adultery, one refers to his licentiousness, right? So therefore, the, you, in other words, it's always in relation to the, uh, certain acts of injustice always are reference made to a specific kind of corruption. So... If a person commits adultery, one refers to his licentious. If he deserts his comrade, to his cowardice. If he strikes someone, to his anger. But if he makes a gain, we refer to no corruption other than injustice. So this is interesting, that if he gets some benefit, if he gets a benefit or a good, he gets something. This is injustice in a sense. So if, it's just, if, if he commits adultery, and he's doing it for doing. If he's doing it for that reason, he wants the pleasure, or he 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 deserts a comrade because he's afraid. If he uh, 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 strikes someone because of his anger, okay, but if he strikes someone because he's benefits from striking someone, or he he's he deserts his comrades before for a benefit, a gain. Now the question is, wait a minute, what about gaining your life? That isn't isn't the coward trying to preserve his life, and isn't that a gain, right? So isn't that an injustice in that sense? He deserts his comrade, but if he deserts it for fear, that's one thing. Well, but isn't he fearing for a loss of his life? So the gain here has to be merely just something more, something like, has to be something. No, no, he's he's deserting because his uh, people paid him to abandon his comrade. So he's not doing it out of fear; he's doing it out of profit. Or benefit gain. This is what I mean by gain. Not out of fear, but of gain. 
not out of desire. Well, desire for more, yes. Desire for gain, yes. But simply just for satisfying one's lust, no. Again, it is manifest as a result that there is a certain other partial injustice apart from the whole of injustice uh, uh, understood as vice, which has the same name because its definition falls in the same gen genus, the genus, same type of thing. So there is what? He says that there is a, that therefore the question of the whole, something that there is something that is this particular, in other words, it is manifest as a result of this thing that there is a certain other partial injustice apart from the whole, has no connection to the whole of vice, which has the same name. For both exercise their capacity in what concerns another person. So therefore they both exercise their capacity for what concerns another person. But the one injustice pertains to honor, money, or preservation, or to some one thing if it were able to encompass all of these by a companies by these by a single name um, by a single name on account of the pleasure associated with gain. So therefore, this is that first thing he says. Both capacity, uh, both. For both this 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 partial injustice versus a part part of the whole injustice, they share this. Uh, they, 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 they both exercise their capacity in what concerns another person, but one in but one injustice pertains to honor, money, and profession, or to something that if we were able to encompass all these together. In a single name, and arises on account of pleasure sorry with gain. So that's the, that's the one, right? That's, that's and the other one. The other injustice pertains to all things which a serious person is concerned with. So this is a particular. This is the particular one, and this is the, it's tied to the. It's tied to a gain, right? It's tied to a gain. It's the this one is tied to a gain. The, the, the first kind. Um, as a result, that one a partial injustice, and then part of the whole. The whole the first is the latter. The first is the we talks about as the gain. The other injustice pertains to all the things which a serious person is concerned with. So therefore, this is the thing that all the activities, all the things that the spodios, the serious person, spodios, is concerned that that the justices are multiple then and that there is also a certain other justice besides the whole of virtue is clear but what must grasp what what and what sort of thing is that but one must grasp what and what sort of thing it is so what is the two types of the whole of just whole of virtue there's, 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 there's a certain other justice besides the whole of virtue justice that deals with all that is the crown or completion of all the virtues, right? That we talked about earlier in the, in, in the first chapter. We, now we have to grasp what is this thing is and what sort of thing it is, right? But now the unjust has been defined as both the lawful and the unequal, right? And j the just both as lawful and equal. So therefore we have defined it that the unjust is both what is unlawful and unequal, and the just is lawful and equal. It is then to the unlawful that the injustice previously mentioned, that is, complete injustice, prefers. So therefore, the question of the unlawful, complete justice, the whole, this, this complete justice, is seems to be tied with lawfulness, obedience, this, this idea of that. And that's maybe to the other in that sense, right? Okay, okay. Um, 
it is then to the unlawful that injustice previously mentioned, that is, complete injustice pertain, pertains. Since the unequal and the unlawful are not the same thing, in, but different, and as part of uh, as part in relation to a whole, for everything unequal is unlawful, but not everything unlawful is unequal. So also the unjust and the in so so also the unjust and injustice in the partial sense are not the same, but differ from the unjust and injustice in the complete sense. So therefore, there's something, in other words, the unjust is an injustice. Injustice, the unjust is a something in particular that may be, uh, what is it? Not everything unlawful is unequal, but everything unequal is unlawful. So therefore, this is the unlawful, but an unequal. So this is what? This is the question of the unjust versus the injustice? The former as parts and the latter as whole. So therefore, this is a part. Uh, uh, um, uh, this is a, the unjust is a part and the injustice is a whole. For this injustice is a part of injustice as a whole. And similarly, about this justice is a part of justice as a whole. So again, this is the connection between, okay, the lawful, this problem of the lawful and the equal, the unlawful and the unequal. And here he has this relationship that, okay, everything, uh, since unequal and lawful are not the same thing, but different. Uh, therefore, we have to maybe even have the and something that's not addressed. That is the uh, is how, what about the lawful and the equal? Uh, is everything, in other words, everything equal is lawful, but is everything lawful equal? Okay, that's not addressed. We already addressed the negative, right? He says not everything unlawful is unequal. So the unjust and injustice are not the same, but different. Because on the unjust and just are in the complete sense, right? But the former as parts and the latter as whole. So, okay, un the unjust is a part and the injustice is the whole, right? For this injustice is a part of injustice as a whole. Mm -hmm. And similarly, also this justice is part of justice as a whole. As a result, one must speak also about both partial justice and partial injustice. Okay, and in like manner about the just and the unjust that correspond to them. So therefore there is complete just complete justice, partial justice. Then there's complete injustice and there's partial injustice. And therefore we have to talk about the relationship of what? Um Uh, 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 and in like manner about the just and unjust that corresponds, the unjust, the just that corresponds from partial justice, and the just unjust that corresponds from. So yes, there is a complete. There is a complete injustice. Complete ju complete justice. Complete injustice. And there is a just the just that comes from it, and the injustice then. Then there is partial justice and the justice that come from it, the just that comes from it, and impartial injustice, the unjust that comes from it, right? Let, okay, but then I guess, let us uh, uh, put aside then the justice and injustice ordered in accord with the whole of virtue. So we'll stop there, putting that aside, the, the whole of virtue. This is, the former being the use of the whole of virtue in relation to another. The, 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 the virtue, the, the virtue, the whole virtue is being in relation to another person. This is what this complete justice is, right? The latter being the use of the whole of justice. 
the whole of vice, in other words. So in other words, this is the use of the whole of virtues aimed at justice is, the whole of justice is the use of, of all the virtues in relation to another. And this is the use, uh, uh, um, this is uh, uh, the whole, uh, the better being the use of the whole of vice towards another, right? But in, but it is in manifest, but it is manifest how one must define both the just and the unjust that accords with these. So even though we're going to put this aside, the question of these things, but it is manifest how one must define both the just and the unjust that accords with these, in that sense. For roughly speaking, the majority of lawful things are those commanded, now 11 is commanded, um, uh, the things that are done, prata metta, on the basis of the whole virtue. Um, uh, the manuscript here reads this, as we follow the one, uh, the, uh, uh, we follow the reading of the manuscript by Bywater. By, by so uh, uh, here is, okay, this is that word. Um, for roughly, in other words, the things that are done, prata, uh, uh, prata mena, on the basis of whole virtue, um, uh, are there, are those are the, 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 for the th speaking of the majority of the lawful things, the things that are done, uh, uh, things uh, the lawful things are those commanded on the basis of 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 the whole virtue, or he says the different translation is the things that are done on the basis of, of, of uh, uh, whole of virtue. The law commands us to live in accord with each virtue and forbids us to live in accord with each corruption. So therefore the law commands us to do what is right and forbids us to live in accord with corruption. So the law commands us. So roughly speaking, the whole of the lawful things are those commanded Or, or things that are done, uh, things that are done on the basis of the whole virtue. In other words, he uses the word commanded. I don't like uh, prata mena, things that are done, things that are, are, are required. Prata mena. Hmm, that's a very interesting point. So he prefers bywater, right? The bywater. But the manuscripts argue that things that are done, the majority of the things that are done are on the basis of whole virtue. That's the way you can read it. And then, however, he, they, they read it with understanding the lawful things. The law commands us, to, in other words, roughly speaking, the majority of things. Okay, this I think it's the more general. The, I think the manuscripts are maybe right here. This is there's two ways you can do it. You can, he's basically saying you can focus it narrowly on the lawful things. But also, generally, there's the things. Most things are done according to virtue. In other words, uh, here, the things that are done on the basis of the whole work. In other words, let's do this. Roughly speaking, the majority of the, th uh, 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 the majority of the things that are done are done mm -hmm. on the basis of whole virtue, the whole of virtue. Okay, okay that's one way. There's two ways you can understand this text. One is that this, that, 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 you know, most things are done because of virtue in that sense, but the, the lawful kind of distinction of this. But for roughly speaking, the majority of the lawful things are those that are done on the basis of whole virtue. I think that the word commanded on that are done. I think prata. That's a whole question. Prata mena. That is a interesting problem. Prata mena would be an interesting uh, uh, um, Pratamena is a very interesting word here that might call our attention. Um, so what is going on? So next, let's go. Things productive of the whole of virtue are those uh, legislator, legislative acts pertaining to the education, to the uh, um, uh, uh, konon, konon, the common, the common. 
is just the common good, the con. To, the term is uh, 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 to, to conen, conen, the common, but having meaning the common affairs, the, the well-being of the, co the community, right? This is the education to the common things. You say the common good, the common things. No, the com I, I'm not sure the good here, the common good. I think that is the common things, things that pertain to the things that we share, the things that we share, things that are common, things that we share and uh, those in the community share. Okay. So the letter set of acts, the letter, the, the whole, in other words, the product, things productive to the whole of virtue are all those letter set of acts pertaining to the education of, uh, uh, to what is, to the common thing the common good, the common things, things that we share in common. But as for the education pertaining to the individual, the reference to which he is a good man simply, whether this education belongs to the political art or to another art must be determined later. So the question is, okay, this is the difference. The polit we, we understand legislative, legislative concerns with us as citizens. What is good for us in common? The good that is, that, that, that for the good, concerned with what is common to us as fellows, as good citizens, or as good subjects, as good as being a member of this community. Whereas the individual good is the good as a human being. And is this the, the education of the good in, an individual? The individual of the good man, is this the same as the good citizen? This is a, a, an argument that is will become in book three, in book three of Aristotle's politics, the, good, the education of the good man, the, what is the good, the good man and the good citizen debate in the, of, of in, uh, I think, book chapter three, book three chapters, I think, four and five, if I remember correctly, chapters four and five. This is something that we have to address later. It's not, it, must, it must be determined later. For perhaps it is not the same thing in every case to be a good man and to be a good citizen. So therefore, it's, in fact, the, the Aristotle argues that it's, no, it's only, the only place where the good man, the good citizen seem to be the same is in the best regime. Um, uh, um, this is the problem in that sense. This is... This is the question. It's 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 perhaps it's not the same thing to be a good man and a good citizen. This is the tension between the city and the man, right? That's that whole point. From one form of partial justice, one form of partial justice and of the just things that accord with it is found in the distribution of honors or monies or any of the other things divisible among those who share in the regime. So in other words, in other words the, the vision of honor and money or anything that is divisible that's, that's, that can be divided between what we all took, the common and the particular the individuals, that we share in the politeia, the regime. For in these things it is possible for one person to have a share that is either unequal or equal to another's. So this is the point. This is that we this is where we get the interesting things. The question of this is where the partial justice, one form of partial justice deals with the things that is distributed in honors and money and other things that are visible in the regime. So that what? That um, uh, 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 as he says here, for it's possible for one person to have a share that is unequal or equal to another's the other form of just uh, the other form so one if one form is the question of what, the things that are common in the city the, the thing the, 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 the question of the, the particular regime and whether uh, there is an equal or an equal share that one individual has some an equal share a share more than he should have or is his share as he should be that is right equal or unequal the other form of such justice is is the corrective one involved in transactions so therefore one part one form of partial justice is political justice in that sense right the idea of the regime justice the question of what is just in terms of what what is the 
distributed in the regime, right? And the other form of justice is a corrective involved in transactions. And of this latter, there are two parts. There are in turn two parts. For some transactions are voluntary and other involuntary. So therefore this is transactions. One is about the things that are, in other words, again, this is, let's go look in here. The first kind of dealing is it's concerned with the honors and monies and other things the visible that, who share in the regime. Because it's a question of the, whether they're done correctly, right? How that's the goods of the, the goods of the city, the goods of the common, how things are handled under. And the other is what? The cor a, a, a justice is the corrective involvement in transactions or interactions. And the latter, there are two, uh, are in two parts. One is transactions that are voluntary and involuntary, right? So the voluntary ones are of the following kind. Buying, uh, selling, buying, money lending, pledging security, investing, making deposits, and letting uh, for hire. These are said to be voluntary because the beginning point of the transaction is voluntary. So this is the something. This therefore this corrective, making sure that you know there is a justice that is involved in uh, 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 what do you call it? Is, is the correct uh, is the corrective one involved in transaction? So it is doing it right, doing it fair, doing it the balance right. The voluntary, right? These are these things: selling, buying, lending money. Uh, pledging security, investing, making deposits, letting for hire. And these are said to be voluntary at the beginning of those transactions. Uh, uh, the beginning points of these are voluntary. Of the involuntary transactions, some are covert, such as theft, adultery, poisoning, procuring, slave stealing, slaying by treachery, or false, uh, uh, bearing false witness, Others are violent, such as assault, imprisonment, death, rape, maiming, slander, and outrage. Now, this is interesting. Notice these. These can, we don't necessarily associate these with bad things, but everything of the involuntary, the covert and the open, right? Some are covert. Uh, 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 others are violent. But these are always negative things. So the justice is not the just is not doing them. Not the doing of them. The doing of them would be unjust, right? But these are, in other words, are aimed at. The, but these are the involuntary. The involuntary things is, is about okay. The things that we have things done to, or in other words, the involuntary transactions are things outside of our control. But wait a minute, that, how are these things involuntary? Some are covert so of the involuntary transactions. Okay, it is done that with things that are done against us. We don't agree to it. In other words, these things are, it's not the point of the doer, it's the point of the thing being done to. So that we we are, we end this voluntary discussion of the the voluntary and the involuntary, that there's things that where the voluntary is people agree to this. Both sides must agree. Both sides are agreeing here. There's agreement on both sides. Here, one does it, but the other does not agree. I think that's the the difference. The voluntary here is that the, both parties agree to it voluntarily, and the others are one party does it, and the other party has it happen to them. And they do not agree to what happened to them. That is the involuntary. That is the question of the transaction. A transaction, a voluntary transaction is both parties agree. An involuntary transaction is when what one party does not agree. The party does not agree to have it done. One want does it and the other does not doing it. So therefore, this is why it's transactions in that sense. That therefore one deals with the transactions and the divide between the voluntary and the involuntary transactions. And then the question here is the first part of partial justice deals with 
the commons, the things that of the regime, the common things of the regime, the honors, the things and other things, the visible bite that, that the regime divides, the thing that the community has. So that ends it. If you have any comments, questions, please put them below. Um, I will respond to them when I see them. Uh, if you have any um, uh, um, specific askings or things you want me to go into further, or maybe would explain it some more, maybe, who knows what happens. Um, if you like it, hit the like button. Hit, hit the like button, please. It'll, it'll help the channel grow, uh, help the algorithms and things like this. If you've liked it, share it. Share it, please. Share the video. Share it on social media. Share it on, on other activity areas. Share on emails to someone you think might like it. Uh, share it far and wide. Uh, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Please grow the channel so we can help us grow the channel. Again, because as the channel grows, uh, uh, it, we have you know possible monetizations and other activities that we can that, that helps this channel the channel survive. Um, another thing you can do, okay, if you didn't like what we did, you did, I didn't like it. You can hit thumbs down, but say why in the comments or they, uh, what you didn't like and why you didn't like it so that people can, uh, what was done wrong and maybe how we can do better and or things like this so others can learn from it too. So it's not just, you know, uh, things like that. Uh, the other thing is what is, um, if you want to follow me on social media, the links are below. If you want to follow me as a scholar to know more about my scholarship and my research, you can go to the academic social media links below the social media links. Um, if you want to help me to do what I do, you can do so through, well, you can always send a gift to me through my yeah, email at social, my academic social media. You can always do something like that, uh, I got Amazon card, a Google card or whatever, but then I'll, but of course you can always just simply, if you want to be, uh, you're going to help directly. You can do so through becoming through Patreon or Subscribe Star. Um, but people say, "Well, you don't have anything. You don't do monthly things and things like this." Well, this is, you know, uh, 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 true. I, that's a, that's a, that's neither here nor there. Um, it'd be nice if people do that. You know, I'm not big enough a channel that I get any. Probably, uh, I, some as I joked in my other video. Uh, it's about one tenth or one one hundredth of a percent of people who contribute, and it's a very small fraction of people who be willing to make be patrons or something like that. Uh, so I'm not big enough. I don't have only about four hundred something people watch uh, subscribers, and they don't always come. So um, please, uh, 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 it's worth doing in that sense. I hope, or you can buy one of my books listed below. The books listed below in that sense. Um, you can buy it at your bookstore or through an, an online site, say like Amazon or Barnes and Noble. Um, or you know, you can if you want to, uh, if you have no student of that, you can buy it for a friend or a student or person like this. Uh, I'm not, you know, well, I'm going to stop here. Um, that's it. We're going to look at chapter three next. We'll take care. We'll look at the unequal, uh, the question of the equal and the unequal, right? So take care. Bye bye.